around the world in countries like Nigeria, Nepal, China, and even the Ukraine, a mass number of young people are fighting for their right to be heard. So why in Memphis are the millennials moving backwards? For example, in the 2011 general election, Memphis had close to a half a million people registered. But when the votes were counted, this 18 to 34 group only accounted for 7,000 votes. So why did this social media driven, tech savvy age group have such a low turnout? And how can we inspire these millennials to impact their futures by getting politically active? In this short documentary, we address this simple three-worded question, why not vote? To assist, we've enlisted one of Memphis' very own millennials, the lovely Miss Ashley Hayes. For those times that you didn't vote, can you tell us why not? Well, the reason why I would not vote because some politicians may not have a platform to deal with black issues. Loss of interest in politics or lack of faith in politics. Mainly because it hasn't done much good. It never was a big concern to me because they're going to pick who they want to anyway. It's really easy to feel like you don't matter. I just don't always feel like I'm being heard and that's been discouraging over the years. During the week I don't have a lot of time. I feel like that a lot of American people feel like we really don't have a voice. The vote doesn't matter. It's already predetermined by the corporations or the people with money, the people in power. I also think it's hard to find what, like, the closest place for me to vote. It doesn't really matter or the votes are so easy to manipulate. I play basketball in Europe and I'm gone 10 months out of the year. There's really no good reason. I would say probably like a a lost sense of power. They don't believe that they get power when they vote. Hard to follow local politics. I don't think they're informed enough about it because like I'm really not that informed enough about it to be honest with you. The information needs to get to our kids in a better manner so they can understand why they need to vote. What's your name? I'm Cody. Nice to meet you Cody and are you a registered voter? Yes. Do you vote regularly? Um, no. Why not vote? Um, I guess just a common thing, like does your vote actually make a difference? You feel like your vote doesn't make a difference? Right, like if you just get caught up in the political nonsense, I guess. What issues are you mostly concerned about? Um, I guess here in Memphis, just like everyone else, just making the city safer, um, more attractive to more people and business to come in. Well, let's see what our subject matter experts have to say about this. The local police department are the ones that protect the city. And it's the mayor that appoints the chief of police, our director. And you need to understand uh, the, the positions that the council people take when they vote to give uh, policemen money or take it away or whatever. And to those who say uh, it does not matter, I don't care, I don't want to vote, they're going to do what they want to do, uh, you're giving away your privilege. And one thing, politics control you from the womb to the tomb. Whether you know it or not, every decision that is made is made by a political body. So what you all need to understand, if you all just come together, become politically sophisticated and informed, you can change anything you want to change. Uh, but you have to vote. You have to become involved. What's your name? My name is Muhammad. Nice to meet you, Muhammad. And are you a registered voter? Yes. Do you vote regularly? I do not vote regularly. <laughs> Why not vote? Um, I just think that I just haven't taken the time to um, inform myself and do the proper researches uh, uh, on the candidates. Um, that's why I haven't voted on every occasion that I should vote. What's one thing that you would change in the city of Memphis? Uh, I just think that the level of education um, in, in high school for, or even in middle school is very poor and that worries me. So um, until I see a candidate that takes education seriously and I um, want the youth to improve and achieve higher, um, then I think I'd be more um, a, a voter on, uh, on a regular basis. Well, let's see what our subject matter experts have to say about this. 
In the information age, in the age of the internet, we can no longer say it's hard to get information about these elections. You spend five to 10 minutes on Google, I would recommend that you go to the website of your local newspapers here in Memphis, the Commercial Appeal, the Memphis Flyer, any number of organizations. Just Google it. You'll get a full list of the, of the candidates, description of their platform and their background. After 10 or 15 minutes on the internet, you can be reasonably well informed and get into that voting booth. And if public education is your big concern, then again, you need to vote in the local races because the county commission, which funds the public schools, and the school board which runs the public schools, those are the high impact races that actually determine whether we're gonna clean up the public schools or not. And if your kids are gonna be going to public schools, then you better get out there and vote for the right people on the school board and on the county commission. And again, it's those races where a few hundred votes either way can make the difference. So your vote does count. What's your name? Jeremy Swanigan. Nice to meet you, Jeremy. And are you a registered voter? Yes, I am. Do you vote regularly? Um, I vote most of the time. And for the times that you did it, why not vote? Um, I really wasn't informed. Um, Might have been a little busy, just kind of overlooked it. Okay, and what are some issues that you're really concerned about? Um, really the school system, um, how things are happening in my community specifically. Um, just things that are, that are help out in general. What's one thing that you'll have to see to make you vote every time? Probably. Um, more of an impact from the representatives. Um, they don't really appeal to my generation a lot. So if they would try to make a change to come forth and like really help the young people, then I would probably vote a lot more. Okay, what's one thing do you think that will appeal to our generation? Um, most likely employment, um, opportunities, uh, having more um, recreational things to do. Well, let's find out what our subject matter experts have to say about this. The thing to keep in mind, um, if you're a politician's will, um, appeal to a demographic, um, but when the demographic is not um, turning out um, on a regular basis, politicians won't continue to try to appeal um, to that demographic. Um, instead, they will um, try to appeal to demographics that do turn out regularly. But you don't have um, the kind of broad um, courting of millennial voters um, because other demographics turn out in larger numbers. Um, you could counteract that um, by voting in larger numbers. This is how um, you can gain a larger voice in the narratives um, that politicians are choosing and the demographics that they are choosing to target is by turning out and voting um, in larger numbers and more regularly. All right, we got some breaking news. After two weeks of early voting and 52,000 votes cast, the 34 and under age group is trailing far behind with 3,300 votes. So where are the millennials? And here's the challenge. On October the 8th, we want millennials to increase your participation to 20,000 votes. 20,000 votes will have a significant impact on this election. Share this documentary with at least 10 millennials and encourage them to vote. Millennials must be heard.